the UN predicts that by 2020, the global population will have increased by 10% to 7.6 billion people. Demand for electricity is expected to increase by 2.7% every year to 2020. And because of climate change and diminishing supplies of fossil fuels, the world will increasingly turn to renewable sources of energy. But the intermittent nature of wind and, of course, solar power means there is a growing issue of energy security. To set the themes for this series, we brought together a panel of leading experts to hear what they thought were the key challenges for their industries over the next decade. Here's energy expert Julian Lee. In my own sector, in the energy sector, I think the, the biggest change is, is going to be how we deal with uh, the issues of climate change and the issues of energy security in a way uh, that doesn't require people to give up um, what they've become used to because I don't think we're going to succeed in making those changes if the only way we can do it is for people to go backwards because people are not good at going backwards. Spain in southern Europe is bounded by the Atlantic Ocean in the north and the Mediterranean Sea to the south. Its population of 46 million is separated from France by the Pyrenees Mountains, which also limits its access to the main European electricity grid. Well, with limited supplies of fossil fuels, Spain depends on imports to meet demand. In 2009, it had to import 79% of its total energy supply. And that is why it's actively looking at ways to use the resources it has in abundance, the sun and the wind. Well, Spain's solar industry is, in fact, one of the fastest growing in the world. In the last three years, they've installed almost enough capacity to supply a city the size of Barcelona. Wind power is a more mature technology. It now accounts for 18% of power. And there are now an astonishing 889 wind farms here. But the problem with wind and solar is that the best places for generation are often remote, rural locations which are a long way from the areas demanding the power. One way to deal with this is to develop ways to store the energy until you need it. Technalia is Spain's first technology research institute. It was formed at the beginning of 2011 by merging eight technology centres and bringing all that related expertise together in one place. Today, with the new Technalia and the merging of the eight different centers, we can give our customers better service by integrating different technologies. Another of the big advantages of Technalia is that we've got a critical mass which allows us to enter into bigger and more challenging projects. Technalia's redox flow batteries can be fitted alongside new or existing solar panels. They're an efficient way to capture power, especially in areas that aren't connected to a wider electricity network. There are some important features that make the battery technology important in the near future for the implementation of renewable energies. One is the high efficiency achieved by these batteries, these energy storage systems that can be as high as 90%. Also, the easy maintenance and the long life of the, of the batteries. What is perhaps most important is the modularity of the system, the battery system, because you can increase the energy density of the battery system or, and also the power of the system by increasing or adding new battery modules.